Hi crafty friends, how's everyone doing? So today guys, we are going to do a kitting up on the moon glow on the painting that I'll be working for the month of March. And it's by Hannah Lynn. Let me bring it up so you can see it. And it's a uh, 47 by 66 centimeters, which is 18.5 inches by 26 inches. Okay, and it's from Diamond Art Club. This one, guys, I actually purchased in January of 21, of 2021. And it was my first painting that I purchased because I loved it. I fell in love with it when I saw it. I said, I must have this one, but it wasn't the first one that I actually worked on. I worked on uh, the Cavalier Cat uh, because it was my daughter's birthday in, uh, in the month of February. So I decided to work on that one. And then of course, you know how it is, guys. You buy them and then you go, oh yeah, I'll work on that one next month. Oh, no, no, I'll work on that one. And then, of course, you know, time passes by and then you forget. Anyway, for this one, it's I'm doing this for an event called Hashtag Hanathon. You can find uh, that on Facebook. It's a public group and it's hosted by Beth. And I believe she has a YouTube channel called Shine Like a Diamond. Okay, so I already arranged them by size, not by size, by alphabetical order. Okay, so first one we're going to work is with 138, 141 and 165. I'm also going to be using the Elizabeth Ward uh, containers, okay? And we're going to need this, the sticker. The sticker is going to go in my logbook, but I do need the, the uh, uh, oh my gosh, the stickers here with the numbers. So I'm going to have to cut this because it does not, it's not a pre-cut um, sticker because it's, it's an oldie, it's an old one. All right, now the, all the new ones, of course, come pre-cut already. So, yeah. And just in case if you're new, well, welcome. And also, um, just in case you don't know what kitting up means, it just basically means that it's just the preparation, getting ready for the next painting that I'm gonna be working on. And so basically you take all the, the, uh, the drills, I put them in order, in alphabetical order, and then I will be putting them in the containers. Okay, now I was told by my friend, <clears throat> from my buddy, that these older uh, stickers, they, they're very hard to peel off. So she did suggest that I add um, washi tape. I just don't know how that works. We'll, we'll, we'll see how that, that works. So, so let's see, let's just try the first one. Okay, so the first one is gonna be this one, which is 138. And let's take that out. And usually I just put it here. You know what? This, these, these are, um, I guess we do need the one. Yeah, we definitely, we're just gonna have to add it like this. But I don't know if I wanna add the washi tape. Let's, well, let's try it. Cause I don't know, sometimes the washi tapes, they, they peel and I find that very annoying. Okay, it's a pretty one. Look at this guys, this little flowers. So let's try how this works. Let's see, I'm gonna put this here. This is the first time that I do this with washi tape, guys. Because <clears throat> usually, like I mentioned before, they come with pre-cut stickers. All right, so let's see. And then of course, I believe this is a sticker, yeah. Oh yeah, I have no nails. So that's not helpful. Okay, let's see. I guess it works. Just put the this on top of the washi tape. I guess it'll be easier when you're gonna peel it off. But I did cover this. Let's see, let's move this a little. Oh yeah, it's so much easier to peel it. You don't wanna cover, oh yeah, yeah, mama mia. All right, let's try that again. You don't wanna cover this, because that's where you're gonna open it, you see? Okay, that's good. And we're gonna need a tray. Let's see, let's just use I don't know. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Should I use a big one? Let's use a big one. Or actually, if it's a little bit, we could use a smaller one. Let's just use this one for now. This is a Bella Art de Nicole tray, which I absolutely love. So you could either pour them straight to the container or you can pour them on the tray and then pour them here. So let's just try this out first like this. <clears throat> I'm going to use a small container if it's not a lot of drills. Okay, so there you go. That's gonna be the first one. And then that's gonna go there. 
but what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove these because I don't know how many I'm going to need. I do know that a 310 and 820, there's a lot of bags, so I'm going to need those. See, as you can see, they come in different sizes. So you have a very, very small one, okay? And then you have this size, which I think you can fit two in here, two of the containers of the, I mean, not the containers of the bags of the drills. And then here, I think you could put three in here. I'm not sure. No, no, that's not true. This one, you could put three. All right. So they come in different sizes. So you just have to uh, select the one that you want. And of course, I'm going to have to move all these out of here because I might need, it'll probably be easier. Okay, let's just move some of these out of the way. Move some over there. Yep. It's a process, guys, but it's a fun process. I actually like kitting up, but some people don't, but I actually like it. I actually like kitting up and kitting down. <laughs> I do. Okay, let's put those over there for now. All right, that's good. Okay, so the second one, let's move this out of the way. That's all garbage. Let's put a little bit of washi tape again. I don't know, I think it's just probably easier without the washi tape. The struggle, it's a struggle, guys. The struggle is real. Okay, and then number two. Number two is gonna be 141, which is a white. Yep. So what's going on with you guys, guys? What are you guys working on for the month of April? I'm actually still trying to finish that little one. I'm almost finished with it. Okay, I think it's called Pink Dragonfly. All right, here. Oh, mama mia. No. You know what? I think I'm not gonna do it with the washi tape. Because it's hard, it's like, it's not sticking. I like, when it, I like when it sticks. There you go, that's much easier. Okay. So let's see, let me tell you what's going on. Well, this past weekend, guys, I actually went to a scrapbooking retreat. And that's why I was trying to finish the last one that I was working on, because I did not want to take that with me. And it was a scrapbooking retreat, you know? I wanted to just focus on scrapbooking because I have not done any scrapbooking in a long time. I've been a naughty girl. And um, so that was fun. I was there with my friends, a couple of friends, and then I got to make new friends. Okay, number three is 165, and it's a yellow one. Uh, that's going to be a little one, just one little packet. Yep, see, it's very, that's not a lot of drills, so you can use this container. I think the hardest part is peeling this because I have no nails. Yep. But anyway, so I had a great time. I left on a Friday, and... Uh, I didn't have to stay there. You could stay overnight, but I didn't want to. I'd rather come home and sleep in my own bed, take a shower in my shower. And uh, and they, of course, included the meals, country-style meals. Um, but I have a very sensitive stomach, so I have to be careful what I eat. And so I just basically would have just come home and have uh, either lunch or dinner or just get something out, take out. Okay, so let's see. This now we're gonna do twos, the twos. And these are also not a lot, so we're gonna use the two little ones. These two little ones right here. I love these Elizabeth Ward containers, guys. And um, yeah, so it was very nice. It was a, a, a not a big group. I think it was like 13 of us, 13 or 14, which is, I think, great. And uh, a lot of food, guys. Like everyone brought snacks there were so many delicious things there to munch on but i was trying to be very careful not to eat a lot of stuff because i i am on a diet and i've been walking i've been trying to walk every day actually i try to go walking today but i open as soon as i opened that door i was like whoa what's going on it was cold it's like 47 degrees this morning and i think it's getting warmer now so maybe after this i will go for a walk I feel better when I go for a walk, you know? 
and I suffer from heartburn guys really really bad heartburn so I'm trying to get off uh, of that pill Nexium because they say it's not good doctor said is uh, not good because I can get osteoporosis and um, so I just want to get off of it and I've been googling uh, vitamins what vitamins are good to take um, if you suffer from heartburn so I started taking uh, all kinds of vitamins, ginger root vitamin, um, uh, zinc, what was the other one? Vitamin B, vitamin D, and oh, oh the apple cider uh, uh, vitamins, apple cider vinegar uh, vitamins. So you take those after, actually during the meal, with the meal. So I'm hoping that works. That's, because vitamins are better than taking pills. <clears throat> and um, so, yeah, so I had a great weekend with my buddies. And then yesterday was my buddy's, Dorothy's birthday. So we all took her out to lunch, the girls. Okay, well, now we're going to do 310. And it was really nice. We went to a restaurant called The Yard. And uh, it's delicious food. So we were there chatting. They have like, the, it's called the yard because you can actually sit outside and they have like activities that the kids can do while the, the adults are eating. But we decided to sit inside because it was very, very cloudy and humid and it felt like it was going to pour. But it eventually did not pour. So we, and it doesn't matter. We just, oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. See, this is what happens when I talk. Uh, okay. This is going to go on this one, guys, because we have four bags of 310. Yep. That's a lot. So I might need two of these. I don't know. We'll see. Unless I don't, just don't pour all of them. And so that was fun. We took pictures. We chatted about everything. And Dorothy was very happy with her presence. And it's always great to spend time with your friends. All right, guys. Okay. Oh, wait. One more. I think I could fit two in. Two more. I think you could fit three in, three of these bags in this in this big container which is nice and I love 310 a lot of people don't like it but I do so let's see oh maybe not I think maybe just two is good let's not push it well, I have, I have uh, more of these containers so I could actually do two of these let's get another container one escaped Oh, but the problem with that is I won't have... It doesn't matter because I know it's a 310. Okay, so... Um, what else? What was I saying? I forget everything, guys. Oh, wait till I tell you guys. This is funny. So, you know, it was my friend's birthday yesterday. And so we were planning, you know, to go out to take her out to lunch. But... I said, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it because I'm supposed to do jury duty on Monday. Okay. So, because I had filled out, you know, you get the, 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 that, you know, the letter in the mail and then you have to go online and you have to register. And, um, but everybody told me, Sylvia, you shouldn't have to do uh, because you're a caretaker. You take, you take care of your mom. I said, I know, but they're, I don't know. What am I going to do? So they said, well, why don't you give them a call? Well. I decided to give them a call and uh, so I explained to the lady on the phone what's going on I said hey I'm a caretaker blah 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 and uh, can I be excused so she tells me well give me your information give me the ID number blah 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 okay I do that then she looks it up and she says to me oh you were automatically excused and I go I was Oh, I said, that's great. Um, but why was I excused? She, and she says, excuse me. She says, oh, <laughs> because you're a felon. I'm like, of course, my reaction is I probably left her ears ringing because I basically screamed and I go, what? What? What do you mean I'm a felon? And then I go, I'm ranting for like, <laughs> I'm ranting for like, I don't know, a minute or two. And then she just stays quiet and she lets me rant. And then finally, when I'm quiet, she says, hey, you checked it off. And I'm like, what do you mean I checked it off? She goes, yeah, you checked off where it says if you're a felon to be excused. 
I said, oh my gosh. I said, you know what happened? I don't, I probably didn't even read it and I just checked it off the box. She said, no problem, no problem. <laughs> she says, let's, let's, let's immediately fix this. And I said, okay. Can you imagine guys? So what did I learn? Always read <laughs> before you check anything off. Oh my gosh. I, I, I was thinking, oh, can you imagine if the cops like stop me? And then they go, oh, wait a minute, stop her, pull her over, she's a felon. Yeah, so that was scary. And I'm so glad that I called. So anyway, so she basically said, let's fix this, no problem. She said, but you are automatically excused because you are a caretaker and your mother lives with you. And I said, okay, fine. So I didn't have to do jury duty. And because I didn't have to do jury duty, I was able to go with my friends to take out Dorothy for lunch. So everything worked out. So I'm just glad that I called. And then what else did we do? And then last weekend, actually, yeah, not this weekend because we were at the retreat. Um, we went with, my daughter actually bought a bike and because she wants to go biking. And uh, so I'm a little, I don't know, I, I'm glad that she bought a bike, but you know how we are as parents, I panic, I get nervous, you know, because sometimes drivers, they're not too uh, polite with bikers. So I just, please, I told her, please, you know, try to ride your bike in the park or, you know, in areas uh, on the sidewalk, <laughs> not where there's a lot of traffic, but yeah. And I told her she needs to get a helmet and, you know, all the things that she needs to make it safe. Sometimes it's nice, you know, you get tired of driving and you want to just ride your bike maybe to work because she's actually like, I think she's literally like five or 10 minutes from work. So she's thinking oh, maybe she can uh, bike her, her, use her bike or bike to work. And uh, before it gets too hot here in Texas, because then of course she's going to have to drive because it gets, it gets unbearable. All right. So, and what else? Oh yeah. And my brother of course came over and um, he has a, a dog named Loki and it's a cane of Corso. And his dog is just a very, very big dog but um he's just very very sweet he's like goofy you know what was that dog i forget the marbaduke you know he's like a big dog and just very sweet and he thinks he's a lap dog he just wants to sit on you and um so when he comes over it's hilarious he doesn't want to leave and my brother's like loki come on we gotta go get in the car and loki just stands uh next to me and just doesn't want to leave he wants to stay here so of course we start laughing and my brother, you know, will have to, has to, you know, get the leash and put it on him and grab him to go out. But so we were out standing outside the house, you know, how it is. you start talking before you leave, saying goodbyes. And then um, he, by accident, he lets go of the leash. And the funny thing is that <laughs> Loki, he's so adorable and so smart. He basically grabs the, le the leash and he runs inside the house with holding the leash in his mouth and just looks at my brother like I'm not going anywhere <laughs> and my brother's like come on Loki we gotta go so my brother runs inside the house to get him and what does Loki do still with the leash in his mouth which is hilarious he turns around and runs to the kitchen like I'm not going anywhere I'm staying here so yeah he's just so, such a sweet dog I think he's a, he think I think he thinks he's a human being because he's never ever around other dogs, so he's always around people, and uh, yeah, he's just sweet. And you know, guys, I always forget everything. So guess what happened the other day? Actually, it's happened a couple of times, which is not good for the engine of the car. So I went to get gas, and. Uh, while the car is getting gas, I realize that I did not turn off the car, which is not good for the engine, right? So of course I go in the panic mode. I'm like, oh my gosh, what should I do? Should I turn it off while it's getting the gas? Or should I just leave it alone? Or what happens if I turn it off while it's getting gas and there's like a spark, you know? So of course I left it alone. And um, I come home and I tell my husband, he goes, no, you should have just turned it off. 
I was like, well, I was afraid that, you know, he goes, no, just next time. And of course I've done it again. I don't know why guys, I'm telling you, I forget everything. Anyway, I'm just going to continue. I'm on number 12 and so I'm just going to continue and then I will we'll be back to show you what it looks like. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm finished. As you can see, let me bring it up so you can see. Now, what I did was since I had two to fill for 310 and I didn't have, you only have one sticker for each number. So I have leftover from the big sticker, right? And so I cut it up, place it there. And there you go. So I've got six, which is 310. And then another one, eight, uh, 22 is 820. So I got two of those. So see, everything comes in handy sometimes, guys. So it's got 36 colors. I'm ready. So I should start because I'm already behind. I was supposed to start this April 1st and until the end of April. So I'm a little behind already because today's what, the 4th, the 5th? I have no idea. But anyway, so yeah. And very quickly, just wanted to share a very quick happy story because I usually do. Um, so I'm just going to read it. This one is a dog and a cat are so close. The shelter decides to only place them as a team, which is so wonderful. The workers at Wake County Animal Hospital were left scratching their heads when a dog named Felix arrived at their doorstep with a goat named Cinnamon. Dropped off by animal control who had taken them from a house whose owner had been hospitalized and had no one else who could look after them. They recognized pretty early these two were a special situation where they first tried to separate them. Cinnamon was very upset. She was bleeding and calling out to the dog. Uh, the director of animal services uh, told the Washington Post she was so stressed and frantic that they realized that this pair had to be kept together. Generally, the shelter doesn't take in farm animals, but after 10 days, they served, they served notice to the previous owner that it was time to come. Oh, wait, this just moved for some reason. That it was time to, time to come take his animals back, and he never did. At that point, the shelter assumed ownership and needed to print up a very strange adoption notice. Felix and Cinnamon spent every hour together at the shelter except for what they ate. Cinnamon hates being apart from Felix, but if they, are, but if they ate side by side, the big American bulldog mix would eat all, by, all her food. Cinnamon likes nothing more than cuddling with Felix or, or running around in the, in the dog yard, even though it's... It's just astroturf. Felix is capable of spending time away from his goat pal, <laughs> but when he returns, when he returns, always begins to, to give cinnamon a bath with his giant bulldog tongue. Anyway, so it's a great because it's a weird duo, but it works for them. Who are we to judge? They obviously love each other. The shelter wrote up a Facebook post in an attempt to find a home for the pair, which attracted so much attention they had to pause the comments while they worked with several rescue office offers who had farm and facility to provide a good home to the shelter build as a bonded pair. So the Facebook th thread was updated on March 25th to inform that a home had been found for Cinnamon and Felix. The shelter knew that they had to stay together and fortunately they found someone who agreed and uh, Federico and her team wished them many, many happy years of friendship. Isn't that a great story, guys? So there's so many good people in this world, guys, that they were able to help the the um, the, the goat and his friend, the doggy. They were their friends and they needed to be together. So it's just a wonderful story. I just wanted to share that very quickly. And so that's about for it for today. So I will be, uh, hopefully start Moon Glow tomorrow or today. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful rest of the day. And take it easy, guys. Bye-bye.